What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. If you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, make sure notifications are set to on. Uh, for those of you that are new here, my name is Brandon Moan. I make airsoft related videos and a bunch of other content involving motorcycles and a bunch of random stuff. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Tactical Game Innovations grenade lineup for 2021. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the FBG-6 two-second civilian flashbang, a TAG-18 smoke grenade, which launches August 15th, 2021 for the United States. And finally, the FBG-6 Mini, which is the law enforcement or professional lineup from TAG-IN to get out to law enforcement um, contracting and other individuals in that field. Um, first and foremost, this is the uh, product packaging. It's pretty simple. These come in six packs normally for the throwable grenades. They do make launchable uh, pyrotechnics. We're not gonna be taking a look at any of those today. Uh, like I said, we're looking at the FBG-6, the Mini, and the TAG-18 smoke grenade. Um, all of these are currently uh, being used. Uh, I've tested out these TAG-18 smokes, I've tested out the Minis, and I've test out, tested out the FBG-6 grenades. All of them work wonderfully. These are great products, they're made over in Russia, and we are lucky enough to have them here in the United States. But without any further ado, let's get right into this video and get some TAG-in unboxed. Alrighty. And getting right in to look at the grenades here. So we have a TAG-18 smoke. This is white. They only make white right now. The FBG-6 2.0, which is the two-second fuse. And the FBG-6 Mini, which is just a more powerful, louder version of the FBG-6. So right here, these two are pretty much hand-in-hand. -hand. As you can tell, the Mini is significantly smaller, about half the size. And as far as width, it is also narrower. On the bottom, you can see they look identical. One's just black, one is orange. Kind of makes it easy to tell which is which if you're just looking in boxes. Um, these minis do come in 10 packs. As I stated, most of the grenades come in six packs, but because these minis are geared towards law enforcement, they do make them in 10 packs because they're smaller and easier to put into a box rather than something like these smoke grenades or the FBG-6. Um, so the FBG-6 and FBG-6 Mini both have two second timers that are going to go off as soon as you release the spoon. These are all pin designed. So once you remove this pin, if you were to pull it, and these are in there very tight. Um, once you remove it, you're holding the spoon in on the inside of your hand here. Once you let go, then the timer starts and you got about two seconds from the time you let go of that spoon. So all of these are the same spoon design that is something i love about tagging they're always going to use this spoon and pin design so for the smoke it's the same operation pull the uh, pin hold the spoon down as soon as you're ready to let her go throw it the spoon's going to come off your grenade is going to be ready to go and start igniting um, i only have one of these smoke grenades on hand right now so we're going to do a test of that just to kind of show smoke volume but these are absolutely amazing Price points on everything here. Tag 18 is gonna be coming in six packs. I'm retailing them for 125 and there's a $35 hazmat fee on that. That's for a six pack. Now you can order cases at discount. All the prices are on the website. I will have links in the description for these products. Um, the law enforcement bangers, these are contact to order only. I cannot ship these to the average person. You must be an agency or there's other special kind of caveats to that on how you can get these, but essentially you've got to have a business, you're training, these are not personal use. FBG-6 with the pine needles, these I can sell to anybody, they're on the website available for purchase. Right now they are back ordered as I'm waiting on a shipment, but uh, maybe by the time you're seeing this video, they'll be back in stock. Those are constantly coming and going, so when you order, just know there might be some slow lead times on that if I'm getting product in. But these retail at $72 for a six pack, and then there's that $35 hazmat fee that's good up to one case on any order. So if you order, um, it's eight packs, that's eight six packs essentially is a case for any of the civilian stuff. For law enforcement, the case discount starts at 10 packs because a case is 10 packs. But without further ado, let's get into testing some of these things out. Keep in mind when you're testing eye protection as these do throw pieces of this case out. Um, it is a styrene plastic kind of material, shouldn't hurt you, but just in case, wear safety glasses. And if you're using these trainer bangers in training, you should be wearing hearing protection and eye protection at all times. These could seriously hurt somebody. But trainer, you definitely need ear protection. These FBG-6 are outputting about 130 decibels and the FBG-6 Mini is 140 plus. Um, 
So just keep that in mind. There's definite, uh, definite possibility for hearing damage, but that is why I've got earplugs here. I've got the tag in, the civilian, and the smoke. We're gonna kind of test those. I wanna do a side-by-side -side of the FBG-6 civilian versus a law enforcement, just so agencies that are watching this, if they are, can see the difference in what you're getting for products. Um, these do work in real world application for sure. It doesn't have to be just a training device. It is a light stun. So it'll work well for crowd um, control, room breaching, and other purposes for it. It's not going to absolutely kill somebody, but it will rock their world for a little bit and let you get in that room. So let's go ahead and get these tested for you so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so next up we've got our TAG-18 smoke. This is the only smoke I've got, so let's hope it goes well. But we're just gonna pop the pin here. Don't have eye protection on it because I'm throwing it right over this way and I'll be behind stuff if it needs to go off. But I will walk in the smoke cloud once it goes as I do want to show a accurate representation of the smoke you're gonna get. Um, I might have to move the camera here and get you a better angle if need be for the smoke. But for now, we're just gonna drop it right here. Have it done. That looks like we've got it done. So we'll let that sit there for now and hope it goes off. All right, well, I can say that was unplanned. Um, that is part of a test batch that was sent out. So I've had one or two duds now, but that's not a big concern. I know the launch batch that is coming out will not have that issue um, as far as fire safety as you can see even though it didn't go off unlike an Gay and a couple other brands out there it did not shoot flames out and it was a safe grenade the dud is safe right now it's not smoking anymore there's no flames coming out of it no fires so for those of you wondering can i use this somewhere where there's a lot of fires um from my experience yeah uh, i've tried these in a lot of dry areas dry grass and they work really well um, when they do dump smoke it's really good. Um, I'll have to do a different video, obviously, showing the smoke output as it's the only one I had and it's a dud. So uh, I'll get back to you guys with the TAG-18 smoke. Just do know that's not an accurate representation of that product. I'm still gonna put it in the video because it's good to show that, yes, this product did have an issue. Um, I've only had that issue twice now. And from what I've been told, that issue has been fixed coming out with the launch batch. That's what you get with test products and that's okay. But I'll get you guys a indoor shot of a FBG-6 Mini going off and just let you guys see how that goes because I'm also out of FBG-6 as well. So we'll get some minis out for you guys, let you see how that looks on an indoor building. But as you can tell, the FBG-6 Mini is definitely packing some more heat than the FBG-6. And the FBG-6 is also packing some good heat for airsoft and other simulation purposes. Home defense device, it's great. Um, but I will let you guys watch and enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you for watching. I won't catch you at the end here. So if you guys do enjoy this content, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment for more and what you want to see.